What's up guys, it's Steve over at Disney. Today I am here again with my mom and we're gonna be talking Magic Kingdom today. So, yep. why don't we uh, talk quickly about our topic today. Um, it's just our, our three must do's. Your three must do's, my three must do's. We'll see if they're the same. It's gonna be exciting. So without further ado, buckle up people because it's time for us to start talking Disney. Let's go. So this was a really fun one to make because it really wasn't based on price or this or that. It was just kind of what made the Magic Kingdom exciting for us. Yes. Um, you know, you have some stuff that you find really amazing about the Magic Kingdom. And I have some stuff that I find really amazing about the Magic Kingdom. And now we get to yeah. bring them all together for you guys at home. To, yes. Yep. You know, and share your thoughts with us down below, right? Yeah. We want to hear what makes Magic Absolutely. Kingdom special for you. Yes. So... Um, I have to say, though, I just want to point out we're a little late coming at you today because I had a little incident with um, a reaction to Novocaine. I could have subbed for Quasimodo. And yes, it was... It uh, was I was a mess. It was rough. <laughs> it was rough. Uh, <laughs> so we had to delay a little bit uh, on our filming. But we're here. We're ready. And so it's time for us to start at number one for each of us. And would you like to start... Oh. I went backwards. I went number three first. Okay, number three. Are, you know. Number three. I chose one of my favorite um, rides, Pirates of the Caribbean. Great pick. Love it. Just it's a it's classic. a must do. Absolutely, I agree. With must you. do. And um, built in. Let's see. I have a little few statistics. It opened in uh, December of 1973. Wow. In the Magic Kingdom and at um, Disneyland. It was the last ride envisioned and personally overseen by Walt in Disneyland. So that's three pretty months, significant. Three months before he died. Yeah. I love this ride. It's a great ride. I love this ride. I loved when they um, updated it with, with Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp. Oh, I love that. Was that was so cool. I mean, it's a good ride. There's 50 boats in this ride. It's eight and a half minutes long. It's, I mean, the, the queue. It's a long queue sometimes, but it goes fast. You have things to look at. It's cool inside when it's hot out in Florida. Yeah, and... yeah. You know, it is a. It's just a really classic ride, and the fact that it's really held up throughout the years. Yeah, I mean, there's some changes. We have red there now and stuff. Yeah, I mean, the the theme, like some of the stuff inside, you know, has been updated to reflect the current times a little yeah. bit more. But overall, like the ride itself, it's still a flume ride. It's still like you're it's still... a dark ride. Yeah, it's, it's yeah. awesome. Awesome on mm -hmm. every level. Yeah. And eight and a half minutes doesn't it doesn't feel as long as eight and it a half minutes. It doesn't unless you're a parent of a small child and then it feels like eighteen years. I mean, when you were young, you were petrified of it. When your brother was young, he was petrified of it. You know, this is a dark ride. So it's the drop. This is it's so a, far. It's basically Splash Mountain. I don't know about that. But you know, yeah, it was, you know. <laughs> Bordering on a thrill ride, I mean. Yeah, my God. That's what it was like when you guys were little. <laughs> and, you know, like, oh, look at the dog. How many times, you know, look at the chickens. Look at the guy spitting water out of his mouth. Other things. But now that you're older, I think you appreciate it. Yeah. And, it, yeah. It, did it make y'all list? It, so, it didn't. Uh, oh. So, uh, my number three uh, is also a ride um, in Disney, but... You know, my number three must do in the Magic Kingdom for me is the People Mover. Oh, love the People Mover. Um, yeah, big fan of the People Mover, the Tomorrowland Transit Authority, or as I lovingly call it, the Blue Roller Coaster. So, as I <sighs> kind of alluded to with Pirates, I did not have a high tolerance for rides when I was a child. So it was a thrill ride. It was a thrill ride <laughs> to me. I thought it was a roller coaster because it speeds up at certain points to a whopping like ten miles an hour. Um, it gets Which, going. I, listen, I can walk faster than that thing goes. No, some points are too. No. And um, oh my god, I love this ride. I think it's so cool. I think it's such a different way to see some of the classic rides in Disney. Yes. Yeah. And. One time, a few years ago, we went, and we happened to go when Space Mountain was undergoing 
some renovations. It was no, it wasn't. It was close. It, it was close or something. The technical. But all the lights and came the lights on. on. Yeah. All the lights came on, and I got to see Space Mountain, which, as an aside, is the scariest ride in all of Disney besides the Tower of Terror. I don't know how this thing isn't considered the craziest thrill roller coaster of all time. Just don't know. It's so dark in there, and you don't know how close the, the tracks just feel like they're. You're afraid of decapitation. I am. <laughs> I am. Because I, I heard a rumor that like, I got like a finger cut off on that ride. So, I don't know. I mean, whether it's real or not. But anyway, the people mover. The people. <laughs> I've always found it to be just a classic Disney ride. Takes you all around all Tomorrowland. You get to see inside of Buzz Lightyear and inside of Space Mountain, Carousel of Progress. Like, you get to you get to see so much stuff. We don't see inside. You, you don't see inside. You just see a pagings tomorrow. And then how about even like the original concept for Epcot? Yeah, that's in there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So the experimental prototype of the city of tomorrow, right? That's amazing. I thought it was so cool. So that that's was my number, th- that's that was number, number three. three. I love that ride. Yeah, it's a great and that's ride. always a must do. That's a must do. It didn't make my list, but I love it. Yeah. I love it. And same with Pirates for me. So let's move on to number two. So what's your number two? So my number two is actually a restaurant. I, um... Oh, jeez. Yeah. So, <laughs> <laughs> so for me, number two is Cosmic Ray's Starlight Cafe. Uh, listen. The food... It's not about the food, and it's not about... it. The Fixin's Bar is cool, too. But it's really about the atmosphere, and to me, it is as classic Disney as it gets. Sunny Eclipse, the little animatronic, and the cheesy songs and the takes on like Sinatra, like you nor I mean, that's hilarious. <laughs> like, it's a great time. You sit in there, there's music playing that's like hustle and bustle. Um, you're in the middle of like, like the edge of Fantasyland and Tomorrowland and you're seeing all the people going by. Just a really cool time. Yeah. Um, and it is actually good food. It's one of the better quick services in Disney in my opinion and I just love everything about it. Um, now I heard back in the day that before Sunny Eclipse that there was a live band that would come out of the the ground, out of the yeah, out of the floor. So, I mean, I don't know how good they were, but I mean, Sunny. I don't a, know if that's true. Is that true? Yeah, Do you we know. Did, can we confirm that? Anyone, just down below, let us know if that's actually a fact or not. Because imagine, can you imagine though if that's like what happened, like band. Just like, shh, like like what, like the Rockettes? I mean, I don't know. maybe but, like um. I don't know, the Shop Quartet? Yeah, something like that. I wonder how they were compared to Sunny Eclipse. But, yeah, leave us a comment down below if that's actually wow. a fact. Yeah, that would have been something. <laughs> so, that's my number two. Nice. My number two is snacking in the Magic Kingdom. It's just, yeah. Snacking. Gotta do it. And I have, like, Dole Whip from Aloha Isle. Love. Love it. The um, Fruit and Nutella Waffle from... Um, Sleepy Hollow, well, that's a new one. That's an absolute must do. That at Sleepy Hollow and the um, ice cream cookie sandwich. Sleepy Hollow is like, it's kind of slept on. Like it's such a good place it to is. go. It is. It's it's great. It's one of, it's... Um, it's delicious. Delicious. Yeah. And the um, cinnamon roll at Gaston's Tavern. Yeah. Don't forget to ask for your extra, extra icing. And um, the past couple of times, I've had egg rolls from the spring, oh, spring rolls, cheeseburger spring, spring rolls from the um, spring roll cart, and they sell out all the time. All the time. All the time. They're delicious. Nine fifty, you get two of them, and they are delicious. So good. Like, delicious. really highly recommended. Yeah. But the line can be a mile long because they're so popular and they, now. And, yeah, you have to wait for them to bring more out, and I mean, it really was long when we were there last, but yeah, yeah I mean... We all love those Magic Kingdom snacks, don't we? Love them. So many. And it was really snacking around the Magic Kingdom. You know, people can be like, oh, but it was supposed to... That really is like an event in itself. It, it is it's, an event it's, in itself. It's very... You know, there's so many things I didn't mention, too. I know someone's going to say, oh, what about the cattails? They were on my list, but I had to cut down. You yeah. know, um, all the stuffed pretzel. There's just... It's so, so many. Much. Like, there's so, so much. much. It's, it's just... Like little iconic snacks. Yeah, you got, you couldn't, there's no way you could just choose one. There no. was no way. It no. had to be like snacks in the Snack. Magic Kingdom right. are kind of, yeah, yeah, that worked. So, here we go. Now we've hit number Good. one. And this is like, no matter what, no. we don't miss this. this. So, I don't miss any of the things on I, this. I, I try as hard as I can not to miss any. I only missed 
the people mover because it was closed. It was closed. So otherwise, I'm always on it. Yeah. So let's go number one. Number one, my number one. I have sitting, listening, and watching to the people, to the sounds, to everything going on in the mag in the Magic Kingdom. When you walk in, you first hear that music playing. Or you're walking down Main Street and they're singing, you know, clang, clang, clang goes the trolley. Uh, or, you know, you're walking by the Aporum and you're looking in those windows and just seeing people with their kids and everyone's happy. Well, not always happy. You know, sometimes those little kids are crying, but even that's funny to watch, right? Right. I love the sights and the sounds and... If you kind of just sit, like, that is like an event, though. Like, if you grab a spot near Casey's... Yeah, grab, and, uh, grab a... a, a a coke or a coffee or right, and, and sit, sit there and just watch and listen it's amazing it's amazing and it amazes me that there's so many people there and i don't know any of them yeah right? and, and, what's everyone's story and all those people are there and they all love disney like we do right and it's just it's amazing but what amazes me about that right is you can sit and watch main street and there are so many shows that happen and you just miss them yeah. Throughout the day, because you're moving yeah. around the park so much, you're around the park. and I'm like, they really, right? They don't stop in Disney. No, like, well, now with the cavalcades, those are always going going. Right, on. like even on rainy days, they have the rainy day parade. Did you know that? I didn't. Yeah, they the rainy day parade. So that's a great number one because sometimes in Disney, everyone wants to go, 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 go. Sometimes just sitting back. And taking a breath. You almost get that Disney magic in itself where it's like, look what you're... Right. Like... Trust me, if you haven't, to all the parks, listen. Listen to the music when you're changing... Um, lands and Lands stuff. and stuff like that. Going from, you know, Main Street to the... Listen to the sounds. It is amazing. It's... it's That's such a good one. So, um, but my number one, and this is one that I just... I can't miss, and it's actually... Uh, because of you, that this has become my number one, is The Haunted Mansion. Oh, I love The Haunted Mansion. It's just classic in every way. It's so exciting. Everything from the minute you walk in those doors. Yeah. Right? The people open them and they're like, hello. Like, and they come out and they're all spooky looking. Pre-pandemic. Yeah. Pre-pandemic, the, the, this is obviously like... You know, they don't do the opening show anymore. But even that opening show, the stretching room, room, the ghost When host. you walk in and the, the picture, like the, before you even go into the stretching room, the right. picture changes to the but skeleton. How, like even the change outside now, because they realize that people were yeah. waiting outside for the show. And now they have like that mausoleum kind of looking thing. Yeah. Closed. I know. And like, unfortunately, that, that ride's really taking a hit because the entrance... It's part, it's of, part the, of the ride. So, yes. like, it really matters that you get that full effect of the Haunted Mansion. The line when we just went, oh my gosh, I'm going to drop a picture in here. The line was so long that we were past the steamboat. Yep. Past the steamboat, down the dock, in, out, up, into the, like, you, up, you, picture. It's, it was unreal. It was crazy. But this ride, like, there's so much... There's so many great things, and they've added to it over the years. But I, I just... Did like, you notice when we went on the last time, though? Remember the room with all the steps? Yeah. It looked different. Did it? I don't really know. I, I always look I for, like, where the different. footsteps are coming in and stuff, and I always found that to be, like, oh, such a cool addition. But my favorite part of the Haunted Mansion ride in general is, of course, the Grim Grinning Ghost song. You go into the grave, You go out to the graveyard, and the music's playing, yes. and all the... Now they've changed where things aren't popping up and scaring you anymore. Now, like, the whole oh, thing things like the orchestra, yeah. it's crazy, it's fun. It might be one of the better, like, it's probably, like, the best song from a ride going, in my opinion. Like Over My Pirates? Yeah, so, right, so I love it, and I, you know, I, I love Halloween. That's always been yeah. something that I've really loved, and so the Haunted Mansion is... The one thing I'm jealous about is, in Disney World, they don't do this, but in Disneyland... They theme the Haunted Mansion yeah. to the Nightmare Before Christmas. That's pretty cool. At Christmas time. Did you time. see that when you went? No, I wasn't there at Christmas time. Oh. So, um, I love the Nightmare Before Christmas, and it's like my favorite movie. Mm -hmm. um, so I. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know what? I, I like your top three. I, I really do. Yeah. I, Other than that restaurant. <laughs> and it's funny because I think your top three is just as good. So yeah. I think like 
So, but there's so many things we could have put on it. It really was hard to narrow it down, but otherwise, if we were like, here's all the things you have to do in the Magic Kingdom, we would right. be right. here for three hours. Right. We'd say everything. Right. Do it all if you can. Right. There's nothing I'd say skip it. Right. Um, How about if you brought someone, pick one thing, if you brought someone new that's never been? Haunted Mansion. Got No. Oh. Yep. 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 Haunted Mansion, in my opinion, um, tied for the best ride in Disney World all around. So, that's where I would say. I would agree with you. Yeah. Yeah. I think I think if I had to say, like, what the other one was, Safari and Haunted Mansion are 1 and 1A. Yeah. That would be mine. It's um, really cool. It's really exciting. So, that was... I think it's just, yeah, we can't... We, we left stuff off the list. Obviously, Absolutely. we picked three things each. Yeah. So, but tell us what your favorite part of Disney is. Leave a comment down below. Like, subscribe, share. We do have a bit of Disney breaking news, though. Before we go, we do want to tell yes. the good people at home, you do not have to wear a mask currently. Well, no, no. As you long as you have to can, wear a mask. You have to wear a mask, but you for pictures, you can, you can take remove your mask, mask as long as you are socially distant and stationary. Yes. But it's a step in the right direction. You can take the mask off for your pictures. Everyone can see your cheesy smiles. You can cheese it up big time. And everyone will be... Uh, I think that's just a really good step in the right direction. It shows that we're kind yeah. of coming out the other side of this thing. Absolutely. Um, any news is good news. Uh, we here at Disney are going to try to bring you all this kind of news as it comes out. We're going to try to keep you up to date. Uh, again, like, subscribe, follow on Facebook with Disney, on Instagram with Diz underscore New England. Uh, Hit us up on any of our social media accounts. We do try Absolutely. to respond, um, and we probably will respond. Um, guys, thank you so much for watching this week. Um, have a great night, week, month, whatever it may be, and we will see you real soon. Stay safe.